Hey guys, showing it coming in. Got another battle replay for you here on Total War Room 2. Welcome back to the Land of Sieges. Welcome back to the channel. And of course, welcome back to Bertigala Town Center sitting right there. Now, as we were making our way forward, we did see some ambushers outside here. So we got some Mesaceli troops and we have some Mycenae troops outside. Let's take a look at the army compositions. First, we will take a look at the attackers. Uh, we have a Galicia here being committed by Dade 2330. From what we can see, he has six Galician swords, two Galician legionnaires. General is a Galician nobleman. He also has two Syrian archers and a giant ballista. Then we have a Seleucid here being commanded by Mushnades. And again, from what we can see, three hillmen, one thorax swordsman, and a giant ballista. And then we have a Carthage over here being commanded by Ustix, I think. And he has four Iberian swordsmen, two Gallic warriors, and one Scutari from what we can see. And it looks like he has just spied himself some ambushers and some cavalry. Oh, wait a second. Hold on a second. Wow, look at Epris right here. Epris doing something sneaky. He used his ballista to knock down the wall here. What? That's crazy. That's crazy. I was like, where did that cavalry come from? All right, well, that's a new thing for me. That is definitely a new thing for me. Let me know, guys. Have you ever seen something like that? Let me see. Let me see in the comments. But all right, let's take a look at the defending armies. First, we have an Iceni being commanded by Major Disaster, and he has four ambushers, two heroic riders, one of those being the general, four Britain slingers, and four chariots. Then we have a Mesaisley being commanded by Mr. Rock, and he has eight Desert Legionnaires, two Numidian Light Infantry, General is a Heavy Skirmisher. He also has three units of the Travel Slingers, three Numidian Riders, and two Armored Numidian Riders. And then Mr. Sneak himself, we have Epirus being commanded by Geronimo. And he has three Illyrian Levies, that's all of his infantry. Then he has six Thessalian Cavalry, two Aspis Companion Cavalry, General is a Hellenic Royal Cavalry, and he also has two units of the Rhodian Slingers. So there you go, guys. Army comps out of the way. I'm kind of interested. Kind of interested to see how this is going to go. He's got his Illyrian levies coming out here, along with the two units, two of his Thessalians. He's still got four more inside. But all right, guys, hopefully you enjoy the video. If you do, feel free to hit the like button, drop some comments, share the video, and of course, subscribe to the channel. But let's dive into this one. Oh, I just saw a big blast come in here and take out, wow, 13. 13 of that ambusher unit got taken out. Oh my god, another big bomb. You looked up, oh, never mind. There you go. More, more and more and more. So Seleucid doing some work. 29 kills so far. And here comes Epris and Iceni. Oh my god, what is this? Wow. A lot of Carthage troops sitting here. That's the rest of his army. Sam Knights, Noble Fighters. What's the spear? I saw a spear unit there. Spartan hoplite? Spartan hoplites? What? All right, dude. All right. Well, we got three Numidian riders here. Some Galatian cavalry here as well. We got some Cappadocians. Cappadocian cavalry. Got some of the Syrian archers there for Galatia as well. But Iceni has made their way into the Carthaginian forces right here. So far, the Iberian swords are not looking very good. This is going to be a hammer. Oh, boy, this is going to be a hammer. We got Skatari. We got Iberians. We got Galax. Oh no, they're coming around. They're coming around, and there's nothing in the. Oh no, there is something in the woods here. You can see the dust up right there. Carthage general, general's bodyguard, but this is going to be a hammer charge right here. Absolutely fantastic hammer and anvil right there. Well, not so much hammer and anvil yet. Not just yet. That might have been a little bit of a hammer and anvil right there. Hammer and anvil. There we go. Might have been. But good charge right there for sure. Busting down these Katari. Very, very nicely done here. Good tag team so far with Iceni and Epirus. Now we have Iceni over here handling his own business. Charging into some poor old hillmen. How dare you charge the I don't care. Kill him. Thorax Pikeman coming out of the woods here now for Seleucid. Thorax Swordsman. Bunch of Thorax Swordsman here. Silver Shield Swordsman. Ooh, Royal Peltas in the woods. We got a Silver Shield Swordsman General. Let's get back over on the other side here. See how these Mesaceli Cavalry is doing. The Minion Riders, zero kills. Okay, they're getting taken out. They are not doing very well. That unit with only four kills. This one here actually got into some archers. Yeah, got into some Cretan archers. Not bad. Javelin Volley. 
from the Galatian Legionnaire. Still trying to ping pong across, though. 70 kills. All right, getting some more. We've got another unit there, getting a nice charge. So that archer unit taking a lot of damage. But the Cappadocians being over here is definitely going to be a massive. Oh, no, these are armored. Those are the armored. Okay, so the regular Numidian Riders are dead. Appears that the regular Numidian Riders are dead. Armored's taking a lot of damage, though. Almost half strength there, half strength there. Got the Syrians right here. Oh, boy, I think I see this coming. Nope, Galatia's going to block it. He's going to try and block it. I don't know. Is he going to make it? Yes, they did, but they took damage. They took damage as they were charging in there. They should, oh, they wavered. They routed. That sucks. That definitely sucks. Uh, Seleucid so trying to get into the settlement. Empress is like, nah, man. No, no, no. We're fighting out here. We're fighting out here. We actually have a uh, a breach that was made right there. Very cool. Attackers still attacking. That's good to see that they're still, you know, they're still doing what they're supposed to be doing. They're still trying to get inside the settlement. That is very, very cool. But back over on this side, Carthage has taken some massive launches. He's actually fallen back. Massive losses. There we go. He has fallen back. We have Seleucid going to bring some of his Thorax swordsmen out of the woods there. Silver Shield's coming out too, or is it just regular Thorax? Oh, nope. Carthage is coming back out of the woods here again. He's going to join the fight. We have some Rhodian slingers for Epirus have made their way outside there. A lot of Epirus calves still just sitting over here. Two Espers companion, Thessalian, Thessalian. Uh, he's got some more Thessalians over here, taking out some of the hillmen there of Seleucid. We're able to knock that unit off the tower there. Here we go, chariots. Chariots going to bulldoze their way into the Galatian legionnaires there. Oh, here comes the companion, uh, Ka Cappadocian. Cappadocian cavalry coming back with the chariots ripping through. 17 kills, not a lot of kills. 18 kills. Getting followed up by Heroic Riders, the general, and the other unit of Heroic Riders. So he's kind of using the uh, chariots there as a sacrifice. He's getting some OK kill kills, though. So over 100 kills there with that unit, 120 there. He's getting pretty good. Into the Galatian Nobleman General now. 175. The other unit, 157. Wow. Doing pretty good. So, oh, I was going to say, about half strength that unit. They just got cut in half again. 201. The other unit there, 160, 170. Doing pretty solid. Doing pretty solid. He's still got the other two units of chariots inside. So, I see he definitely still has a lot of killing power left. But this is a level of brutality right here. These Thorax Swordsmen are just getting bullied by all of this Empress Cavalry. Absolutely getting bullied. Yes, Doing pretty good. Let's get back over on the other side here. Oh, wow. Actually, this sally out, this ambush, whatever you want to call it, actually looks like it's kind of falling apart as far as this side. Um, yeah, Galatia, Carthage, go inside. Galatia, Carthage, go inside. Seleucid's still fighting over here. I mean, if you want to send some infantry over here to help out, you can definitely do that. Looks like that is what Carthage is doing. Sending over his two of his noble fighters. Legionnaires still making their way forward. Aro, uh, Rodian Slinger still firing. I was going to say archers. Rodian Slinger still firing away there, though. Take aim. Legionnaires about to start getting shot. Yep, Rodians. Oh, wait, we got the uh, Heroic Rider Cav. Going to try and get a charge in here. There you go. Charging in once again, both General and the other unit. But now the attacker's getting inside. Now the attackers are getting inside the settlement here. Chariots have fallen back. I mean, Misesali is really the only one that has infantry. He's got a lot of legionnaires. A lot of legionnaires. What did I say? Eight? Eight desert legionnaires? Not too bad. See how Empress is still holding up over on this side. Still doing damage. Oh, there you go. That's a hammer and anvil right there. The desert levies, I'm oh, sorry, Illyrian levies holding the line. Good charge by the Thessalian into the back of the Noble Fighters. Understood. Very nicely done there. Textbook. Hammer and Anvil. Textbook. Do we have... 
I do believe we have some uh, Silver Shields. Yeah. Silver Shield Swordsman have now joined the fight. That's only in Cav 102. That unit there with 291. Solid job there. Oh, I think the Heroic Rider General just died. He did. Aspis Companion, though, going to charge in here. Finish this Galatian Legionnaire off. But yeah, this hole pretty much has been taken out. I mean, they did. looks like they did a good amount of damage. There's a lot of bodies. A lot of bodies on the ground. But we have to remember there was four units of ambushers and three units of Illyrian levies that were over here. So, defending infantry, there is a lot of dead over here. The only We have one Illyrian levy that's still up. Ambushers, I believe, have been all taken out. Oh, we got the Cappadocian over here, still trying to fight on. 135 for him, taking on some Aspis Companion. That is not going to go in the favor of the mercenary Cappadocian at all. Ballista crew, 25 kills. Big charge, getting that getting that Chevron. Might be able to get a second Chevron, actually. And... Yes, got the second Chevron, and now this unit's going to charge over here and get a Chevron for himself. Easily get a Chevron. He's already almost there. Big charge again. Brave 40. Brave 22, 26, whatever it was. There you go. Chevron there. So, all right. Inside the settlement, guys, this is not looking extremely good for the defenders, if I'm completely honest. I know they have a lot of Desert Legionnaires back here, but there's a lot of Galatian Legionnaires making their way forward. The Noble Fighters are still around. We have Silver Shield Swordsman, Royal Peltast. There is still a lot of damage that can be done by these attacking forces. So we have Galatian Swordsman charging in onto the front. Can eat up some Javelins. Pila, I should say, since they are Desert Rome, essentially. Oh my god, that guy just took one to the face. To the face! All right there, guys. Sorry about that, we had a little bit of a crash, but I brought it right back to pretty much exactly uh, where we were to the minute. So, all right, Galatian swords have been taken out. We do have archers here. Oh, so yeah, Cretan archers, Syrian archers. Still making their way forward. They are moving really far forward. I don't see the need to be that far forward, especially without any sort of uh, ranged assistance. Taking a little bit of a gamble here. They only have nine kills. That unit with only six. Are we just going to try and dip over into the corner here? Okay. So I can see what he's doing. He's trying to come around over here to try and get some flanking shots onto these guys. But he's basically going to be firing into the shield side. Honestly, what I would be trying to do is firing into these Britain slingers. Or maybe even try and get the slave slingers or the tribal slingers that are on top of the uh, plateau here. Plateau. But it doesn't look like they really actually have anything to fire at. It says that they're firing, but they do not have the ability to fire at the moment. Uh, so, yeah, these Cretans definitely should be just starting to knock down these Britain Slingers for sure. Just get them out of there. But all right, here we go. More Galatian swords making their way forward. Going to eat up more Javelins. More Pila. Not a bad idea. Not a bad idea. Oh, they're going to... Yeah, they're charging now. Okay. Oh, where's the other one? Oh, they're just charging down over here. Okay. So they're just blobbing up on attack. All right, let's get back outside, see what's going on. We have Mercenary Spartan Hoplites again, just getting taken out. Yeah, they're chasing. I'm not even sure why they're out here still. They should have just gone inside. But, I mean, the Rodian Slingers appear to be happy with it. They're getting the Chevron there. They both have Chevrons. We have the, the Wall Ballista here firing down. Spartans working for Carthage. Mercenary Spartan Hoplites. Hmm. Okay. Well, I mean, he's got his other, his other Hoplite right there. Thorax Pikeman going to watch the breach. Good, good job there. 
That's definitely a good job there. Uh, now they're going to try to maybe watch the other one here. These Cretans getting taken out. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Oh, the skirmishers came over. The heavy Numidian skirmishers, the general. Nice. Very nicely done there. Syrians running away. Got some Celtic slingers there firing in. Tribal slingers falling back. They've only gotten a little bit of kills, though. 2 and 11. Uh, the Iceni slingers still looks like they've fallen back as well. 33 and 16. But we got some of the stronger boys now for the attackers making their way in. Galician Legionnaires against Desert Legionnaires. A Silver Shield Swordsman General. Carthage actually... Oh, wait. Carthage is actually making his way around over here. Three Sam Knights working together. Three Sam Knights walking together. Noble Fighter. Noble Fighter. Okay. Understood. Oh, up, oh, up. Oh. Nope. They did not block. Oh, no. Oh, no. Syrians see it. Galatia sees it. He's trying to run. This unit here, though. Unfortunately, only 24 kills, so unfortunately, they are a sacrifice. Got the Legal, ooh, got Galatian Noble General making his way up. He's got javelins. Yep, there you go. Oh, oh my God, that was brutal. Brutal, brutal, brutal murder stick volley right there. Brutal. Aspis can, can mm, kind of winning. Starting to win. Oh, they're breaking through. Another humongous javelin volley there, but I mean the Aspis 310 kills. Solid job there. Just gonna charge into the back here, get whatever kills they can. He's got three more kills. Oh, he's got a lot more kills. Wow. Aspis companion, very solid. 320. Great job. The other Aspis in here now. Looks like he just charged into the back of the general, but I don't think that really he got 350 actually. Dang. As companion are doing good. Aspis companions. Oh, uh, there's another 22 kills right there. Very nice. We have the thorax pikeman over here, but we got some more. We got the other mercenary Spartan hoplite coming over here. Riders at the double. What's Carthage doing? He's coming all the way around. Wow, really? Okay. I mean, they're going to be tired by the time they get there. Shouldn't be probably walking. We got the noble fighters here blocking this road in case there's anything that decides to try and come out. Now the Galatian player seems like he's just converging all of his forces. Side of his general, he's just converging everything in. Head of the Numidian skirmisher doing some jobs again. 55 kills. So far, the Desert Legionnaires are holding, but they are starting to fall apart a little bit. Frontline is dropping. 206, 126, good amount of kills. 44, 30. Yeah, there's not. He's only got two left here in reserve. Carthage starting to make his way forward up this road. He's coming around the backside over here as well. Now, we can also still remember, we can see this Hellenic Cav, Hellenic Royal Cavalry, and another Thessalian Cavalry there. So the defenders still have Cav, not counting the chariots as well. So they still have things that they can make use of here as far as trying to broaden their defensive line or maybe sucker the attackers in. Back, back with Something just got taken out over here. I didn't see what it was. Did not see what it was. Oh, the other Aspis companion. 390. Good job. Good job. All right, here we go. Starting to converge. And they did get them into a trap. And here comes the Thessalian and Royal. Okay. I was kind of waiting to see what they were going to do with that. I kind of feel like I said that was going to happen. Here they come. Thessalian's coming down first. 
Galatian Legionnaire is going to take the full brunt of this Royal Cav. Go. Very nice charge. Oh, but they are met with a bit of an archer volley there as well. That is a solid charge, though. The other Thessalian breaking through. Going to get into the uh, Syrian archers here. 80 kills. Looks like they might have been out of ammo, though, anyway. But the attackers need to keep pressing here now. They've got to start moving. I mean, Galatia has thrown a lot of his army in there. Oh, we got the chariots moving. Chariots are active. He's down four chariots already. Only six kills. Not doing too good. Here comes the others. We still got Carthage coming around back here, too. So they definitely have to keep an eye on that. That's Lee and Cav getting a nice charge into those noble fighters who are getting wrecked. Down to less than half strength. 173 kills, though. The other unit here, 112 kills, 88 men. Getting shot directly in the back. Directly in the back there. Travel Slingers, great job. Good firing. Good target to shoot. I think the Thessalines trying to come around the charge here. They are. No, they are not. No, they're not. I thought they were going to try and charge in there. I guess they're going to just let the Slingers do what the Slingers are going to do. Now, here's the other chariot here. He did make his way forward. Uh, let's see what he has. Nine chariots down. 133 kills. He's going to try and make his break again. Taking a lot of losses. Again, Spartan Hoplites there. Oh, the Spartan... Um, Royal Cavalry with a decisive blast of a charge right there. Very nice. The general's taking a lot of losses, though. He's down to 55 men. Has not broken 100 kills yet. 63 kills. But here we go. The, yep, Carthage in the back. Okay, I just wanted to see over here. Uh, the chariot's going to work. Chariots are going to work here against the Sam Knights. 60, uh, no, 22 kills. 22 kills. We come back around. Is he going to charge through this? Yes, he is. Going to keep on charging through these Sam Knights. We have one final Desert Legionnaire here. Going to try and make his way over here. Try and help hold the line. He's got two more here, though. Actually, he still has a lot left. I thought I only saw the two initially. Sam Knights getting run over. Chariots not breaking 100 kills yet. They're going to, though. Numbers still climbing. 105. Great job. Great job. I mean, he did a lot of damage to this final uh, retreat, this final reinforcing units, I should say, that were back over here for the attackers. I saw the chariot, 188 kills. So, did pretty good from what I remember of the numbers. We'll have to take a look at the ending army compositions, but looks like he did a pretty good job uh, with the chariots. Looks like I think all of them were over 100 kills, uh, maybe even closer to 200 if I remember right. But the final little bit here, we have some silver shield swordsmen. Silver Shield Swordsman General now charging up for Seleucid. Unfortunately, in Shield Wall, so they have zero kills and they have not thrown their javelins. Carthage General appears to be trying to get out of the fight there. Still have the mercenary Spartans get freight trained. Freight trained. Uh, back over here, I mean, he's still got Sam Knights here. I'm not sure where they're going. I'm not really sure where these guys are going. Did Carthage leave? Maybe Carthage left the fight, but I mean, these guys are still in the fight here. This Sam Knight's still fighting along. Right, that Sam Knight has broken, and the other two are just retreating away. Still got the Silver Shield Swordsman in the fight. Silver Shield Swordsman General going to charge into this desert... Uh, this Desert Legionnaire, but unfortunately, writing on the wall right there, Travel Slinger's just gonna fire right into his back. Right into his back. Let's check and see what the Royal Cav Gen's at to. 154, the other Thessalian there, 200. Solid job. Oh, those other Sam Knights broke. 93 and 73, broken down. Seleucid General just getting absolutely annihilated right there. So many stones flying in. We got a minute 25. I see the Carthage General over there, and I see a Thorax Pikeman there. Well, we're going to fast forward this one out. That was brutal. Again, Epirus, an interesting tact right there in the beginning. Interesting tactic. Coming in here, blow, blowing down his own wall. Interesting. Very, very interesting tactic there. 
Getting outside. I mean, he did a lot of damage. He did do a lot of damage, but again, we have to remember, Iceni had four units of ambushes out here, and Basically had two units of the uh, Numidian Light Infantry. But here we go, final charge of the Carthaginian General, 16 seconds. He's coming. Is he just going to break? No, he's charging. He's going to... Oh, he's going to die. Never mind. <laughs> All right, ending on recompositions here. We're going to take a look first at Geronimo playing as Epirus. He was the one that set the replay in, dude. Thank you very much. Interesting. Great job. Really solid job with the tactic there. Uh, almost 2,600 kills, 2,594. Good job. His general, 172. Aspis companion, 320 and 390. Solid job with both of them. Three bronze chevrons. Uh, Thessalian Cav, 139, 208, 102, 291, and 253 and 256. My God. One of his radiance, 113. 127 with a levy. Whoo. Okay. Uh, then we have Mr. Rock playing as Miss Cecily, 1869 for him. 109 with a general. Uh, one of his armored Numidians there, 187. Regular Numidians top was a 56. His tribal slingers, 97, 88. Desert Legionnaires was the interior force. Uh, 154, 208, 104, 155, 191, 136. Pretty good. 143. So the majority, by far the majority of them, only one unit without over 100 kills. Uh, but look at how strong. They were still very strong. And then we have Major Disaster coming in with 1776 playing as Iceni. General 92. The other Heroic Rider 151. His Chariots 136, 209, 188, 186. Pretty solid there with regular Chariots there. Uh, his Ambushers 186, 153, 121, 183. Great job again. Top with a Slinger was 97. Getting in onto the attackers, we have Dade twenty uh, two three three zero playing as Galatia fourteen fifty three eighty four with the general. Uh, Cappadocians did really solid two forty eight one twenty. Good job there. Syrians unfortunately did not get very many. Top was an eighty one. His Galatian legionnaires one thirty nine one oh five. Ooh, close to a hundred there ninety seven. Uh, his Galatian swords one nineteen. Uh, oops, sixty nine giggity. You win. Then we have Ustik here playing as Carthage, only 949 kills. That is rough. Uh, this right here, very crazy to see Sparta working for Carthage. Um, yeah, kind of strange. Uh, his general, nine kills. Slingers, I'm sorry, his archers did not get very many kills. Uh, his noble fighters, 188, 101. One of his Galax there with 116, and one of his Samnites, 130. And then we have Mushnades playing as some lucid, 1,078 kills. Nine for his general, I almost said 90. Nine kills for his general. Uh, four of the Syrians not doing well. Top was a 31. Hillman, 22. Royal Peltas, 176. His other Silver Shield Swordsman, though, 130. Good job. Uh, Thorax Swords in 164, 114, 173, and 102. So four out of the five over 100 kills. But all right, guys, there you go. Brand new tactic or new tactic for me seeing. I don't know. I don't know if other people have seen it. That's a new tactic for me seeing. Um, good job. Good job. Solid fight. Fun fight to cover. But that is going to be the end here. So hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, feel free. Hit the like button. Drop some comments. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. But have a great rest of your day. Stay safe. And as always, until the next one.